All right, here's another installment of us making a turbo teaser. Six pages of story, the first six pages of uh, turbo story. Um, and I have uh, completed inks. I think that's the biggest thing that we can celebrate today. I took I the entire day yesterday, which is Saturday, because today is Sunday. And uh, I am I am inked, other than other than my partner um, wanting to nitpick, which I'm always willing to listen to. Whether I follow through with it will be another thing. <laughs> but uh, you know, we're we're really in that place where you know making comic books is not sexy. Uh, we're finding out, <laughs> not that we knew it was any other way. But, um, you know, today we want to get um, some finalization or at least some final direction on filling in um, the texting in blocks, uh, a block of text. And then the back of our turbo teaser has, um, you know, just some information that we want to tell people when they do have them. Because like the T-shirt, these are only going to be around for a limited period of time. It's to help us promote. Um, what it is we're working on every Sunday for about three hours together online. And then, of course, we have our own peripheral time that we spend. Um, but, you know, as we do get sexier <laughs> and close to being millionaires, um, then, you know, these will be those those uh, most sought after items that uh, will be in such value in the secondary market of uh, speculative comics. Yeah, or not. Um, we are, yeah, so, uh, <laughs> you know, welcome to the making of Turbo Pit Fighter. This is a post-apocalyptic sci-fi adventure <laughs> story with a strong female character. Um, I have a printout here on a bad printer. Um, and we're just going to uh, jump in uh, trying to... Uh, fit all the uh, text into the little dialogue boxes and word balloons. So that's the point that we're at. This is, uh, if you're making comics, you know what we're talking about. Um, some people do it as we go along. We chose to uh, kind of print these out with a computer font and try to fit everything in. And then we're gonna hand letter over it so it doesn't look like a computer font. <laughs> um, just to, you know, have nice lettering. Um, I don't mind this computer font. I don't remember what it was called. Uh, this is 20 years ago. It's not Whizbang. And uh, this is not Whizbang. No way. Whizbang sucks. Um, unless it's like Whizbang bold, but but it's Whizbang has a little tilt to it, and this is straight up and down. And I don't even see. And <laughs> then if you italicize it, then it has a little tilt to it. So no, I know Whizbang very well. You know, whiz bang, when you print out a, uh, when you type an exclamation point, it doesn't put any spacing between the exclamation point and the letter, the last letter. And then you have to introduce artificial spacing. So whiz bang was never fine tuned, not at least not when I used it. Um, anyway, uh, yeah, so starting out with uh, 1.1, uh, right up here, it says, don't know shit about history. Um, and I think it comes across that the word shit is bold. Um, some of these some of these letters are bold, which means the letterer will be uh, going over it to make it bold or using a different pen um, that writes in bold or going over the first pen with the second pen. Um, but uh, there, yeah, and then there's some, you know, there's some places where the, the lettering is just going to be bigger because it's like, a, I don't know, I, I, don't, I think this is a bigger font here, but like maybe like a point, but, but maybe it's just bold. But uh, yeah, so, so uh, it goes from don't know shit about history. And then in the next box, it says, but I know there was something called geographical thinning. And here we have uh, a made-up word, <laughs> geo-graphical. <laughs> um, instead of um, quotation marks, it's the uh, single quotes. 
uh, we spell something um, this way because this indicates that Turbo talks like a truck driver. Um, I put in two I's instead of one because um, they, I didn't like the amount of space that they were giving. And I think when we do our eyes, I think we're going to be doing the uh, the eye beam eye rather than just the stroke. What do you think? Hmm. Yeah, I don't like the eye beam eyes. No. Okay. Well, let's see what they. Uh, I'll pick up a random comic here. See what they do with the eyes. Um, because when it's the word eye. And it's all by itself with space. Yeah, it's a good side. point. Yeah, so, yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, here, here we have the I beam I, but then in the middle of a word, it's the just the regular downstroke. See, I like that. Yeah, I like that. Yep. Right. So when it's the word I, yeah. All right. Um, see, guys, we're really this is really sexy stuff here that we're getting through here. <laughs> Um, then there's nothing. <laughs> then there's nothing to the buyam. Um, and that's 1.3. It says it was back before Zergon gas when they did it by hand. Right? So that's the third dialogue box. Um, How do you spell Zergon? It's X E R G O N. And I'm going to Google it to make sure that's not a real thing or who cares if it is, but <laughs> no, it brings you to Argon gas. And is, is did anybody yeah, but ever I thought you were making word? it up. I did. Okay. There is no use of the word Zergon anywhere on Google, <laughs> although there is a welding product called X-Ergon, and there's a company. Oh, wait, here's something on YouTube called Zergon. It's a gaming show. Good, I love it. <laughs> so Zergon <laughs> Gas it is. I just wanted to make sure there was nobody <laughs> else nice. that had Zergon Gas in a comic or Zergon, like, character or something. Um. Yeah, yeah or infringing on somebody's patent. Yeah, man, that's my Zergon gas. Yeah. Um, so, <laughs> Established here and now. Okay, then we go to... Um, yeah, it was really stupid of me not to just put these in exact order so they read from left to right. I don't know why. But uh, I, you know, I probably overlay these on scans just to get the sizes of the, of the area right and the uh, centering, and then I just put it all on one big page to print out. Because I don't know if I was gonna maybe do um, sticky labels and print out sticky labels and put them down because I think that's what I did with my other comics. But um, you know, those... I do remember something being discussed about. Yeah, well, well, we'll do it by hand, just like the Zergon gas. Um, so uh, up here, it says, who is the owner of this house? And that's somewhere else. Words to the effect of. Here. Um, who is the owner of this house? And everybody's squinting, waking up. Right? I have, you have this here? Yeah. Okay. Um, then we go down to my father dot, dot, dot. And then um, his response is missing. That's one thing I came across. So we're going to have to make up what he says, possibly right this minute. I thought it was something like, uh, um, like, uh, I am. I am, I am the one who, you? Which you, 
I am the one who will you seek. Well, here I wrote the house belongs to me. Yeah, I know. I don't. I don't know why. I, made, I don't know why I just made him sound like the Watcher, right? Um, yeah, you could just say the house belongs. <laughs> I am the one whom which you seek. Uh, yeah, so that we'll just write the house belongs to me, right? That's basic. Then yes. she says down at the bottom, he was an engineer, a builder. And, um, you know, Denny O'Neill taught us a lot of, a, she, he taught us how important commas are in comics. So, you know, we got to very, be very careful to keep everything exactly as it is. You know, with commas and stuff. Here, I don't know about the um, justified uh, turning. Like, see this? Well, I don't know. I'm getting distracted. But um, see how these this this is like force justified. I think in the real comic we don't do that. I think we move these letters together. I don't know if that's a pain in the ass. I agree. I they call that rivers of white in typography and. It's a uh, it's a distraction when you're trying to freaking read something and escape your miserable existence, and your freaking wife is in the background telling you, <laughs> "Get the fucking lawnmower out of the shed, you scum fucking." Yeah. Um, just caricature. <laughs> Here I have a note: uh, all types should be eleven point two. So that's our um, that's our rule of thumb. Of course, except when they're screaming. And I guess it's, you know, just bump it up to whatever fits. Um, moving right along, uh, he made Bridges Park Schools is uh, right above the uh, guy with the gun. And hopefully the little M hanging down doesn't, um, doesn't impinge. But uh, then it says men begin under the kachik. And that's kind of big and, and bold. Yeah. So you. Oh, so you're. Are you jumping ahead of me? Because you see, so you have it already numbered in. Men be. Well, those good. are my notes. I had scanned and sent to you. Oh, I don't have. I don't have what I'm seeing on on the right side right now. You have number eight up here. Right. So that should be he made bridges, park schools. And then, do I see that yeah. you have number eight down here too? Or is that my eyes oh, playing tricks? Know. Is that a nine? Oh, it's a nine. Bigger. Oh, that's a nine. Okay, so that's men begin. And then here it's kind of like silent where his head gets exploded like a coconut. And Boom. that's when it's, and then that's when up here it says, but things were about to change. So that's page one. Um, now we're on two, page two. So this says uh, two, one. And another lightning quick jab to the mask of the mountainous brawler is landed by Turbo, the upstart challenger of the so-called weaker sex. Peter Payne is certainly paying a price in mobility by wearing the protective, what? Cumbersome protective padding that female has decided to forego. Um, nice. Down here. Right. So now here's where I got a little confused. See right here, this old pup ain't got it. And he's just big as all. I believe those are on this page. And we didn't make boxes for it. So, I don't know how, I don't know, I guess we added that later. But what do you think? What, so what is going to happen, let's stay on page two, what's, what's down between her legs here? 
That's two, two, two. Keep your eyes peeled, however. See these that... um, these boxes uh, okay. really, these boxes they really match the shape. So they should be pretty easy yeah. to uh, yeah to match. Um, but yeah, but these these two little um boxes are not in the page. We didn't. I didn't make a uh, a thing for it. Um, and you know there is there is good room for it like here and here, but that might mean you know whiting out a box on the original or putting a sticker on or something or what do you think? If we're going to include, these? I think at this point we're going to have to um, rely on. Uh... Photoshop. I I am having some concern about the 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 size, the size of the lettering, um, in these boxes. Like this is shrink to size, comic book size. Well, it's actually just a little bit bigger. It's uh, well, not really. No, it is because this is eleven. Normal comics are seven by ten. Uh, this is going to be a little bit smaller. I mean, the size of your the wording, you know, is a bit bigger than what I think is going to end up being in, in the boxes. Though I won't, I won't see that. Um, until yeah, this, we, this is, you know, we get to this is blown out. up. Yeah, this is blown up. It, it shrinks down to fit, but and then it, and then it should be eleven point two. But um, you know, it's also a bold font. The because the final this part here, this should read at eleven point two. And I usually do um, 11 uh, as the font, the final font size um, in comics that I've done in the past. And it's good, it's good readability. Um, but that's, like I said, it's when I'm, when I'm yeah, eyeballing well, like, that first big block of text, um, that's a lot to then just be what will optically look like being squeezed in. Yeah, if it <clears throat> if it looks squeezed, I I hear you. Um, I think it also depends. Like you know, there's eleven point type and there's eleven point type. It depends. If it's done with one of these, it's very thin. It's gonna disappear. But if it's done, you know, with a uh, yeah a, a paper made, or if it's done with uh you know like a a thicker uh, nib here, like here we got the point four. Here we got the point three. Right, and. I used to I used yeah. to get these in a thicker I used to get these in a point five, which was like beautiful for type for text. Um That's so we gotta thinking. just we gotta find the right pen. We gotta invest in the right pen. Um Okay. You know, and and you know, I could do lettering. I don't know uh if you're doing it, I'm doing it. I could I'm I have no problem doing the lettering. We haven't made that decision yet. We haven't made right. that decision yet. Okay, but, but but you know, meantime, time will be of the all. essence. Yeah, I mean, and that's why I blew this up. I blew this up so that we could blow it back down and it'll look tight, you know, but it won't be like a real crunch for the person doing it. I could have blown it up even bigger, but you know. Um, so we, so these, these two uh, look like they were uh, left out of, you know, that they didn't, they didn't have boxes. If we do it in Photoshop, that's fine. Um, now okay. we're on page three. Yes. Okay. Um, so it looks like it says no padding here. Oh, wait. So where did we go? So page three. Yeah. So. It's a notepad there. The the sh the shorter box just says there, and then the longer one says notepad okay. here. Um, and we're uh, we're looking for page three. This is when it gets confusing. Is here capitalized, like here. Or excuse me, bold. No. Here. Um, oh, wait. 
My bad. It's not there. It's uh, too slow. You have this page, right? Okay, so it's not no padding here. It's no, too slow? Yeah. It's too slow in the short one, and then no padding here is in the uh, is in the bigger one. Uh, the longer one, okay. I should say. Okay, and then okay. here we have these two boxes. Did you say um, no padding there or here? No padding here. Okay. Explanation point? No. No, she's just talking to really? herself. Really? Ah. Yeah. In a very calming voice. Right. You see where her word balloons are kind of rounded and his are kind of pointed? Yes. That That's the narration. Yes. And this is the... Uh... Okay. And the, and the square boxes are the announcer, right? Right. And so here we have the two boxes of the announcement. And Turbo pops another sharp bullet-like blow. This time into the lower leg area. And we don't, I don't think we have quotation marks there. It's just presented without. Right. Now, didn't we talk about in like some past episodes of making turbo that we were thinking about making um handwritten script per who's speaking yet we didn't Han determine that it was going to be cumbersome not not cursive no that that doesn't make sense it's hard to read but um but I think we had the idea of um one person doing the lettering for Turbo and another person doing the lettering for everybody else. Right. Okay, so I did remember whatever, that. Whatever sense that makes. <laughs> now you... <laughs> whatever visual it achieves. Right. Now, now you're going to be taking the text from these printed sheets, right? I will, if you give them to me that way, and then I will... Um, you know, probably light box them. Right. Because I want to make sure that we have all the commas and, and ellipsi and everything, right? Because if you're just transcribing it now from what I'm mm -hmm. saying. I, but this I, is all, I, and this is all, this is all on a separate sheet of paper that will then be put in Photoshop. I'm not inking on the originals. Okay. Interesting. Um, so, so we're going down to panel two now. Yes. Um, so now it's, it looks like, and he's just lumbering around the ring now, out on his feet and O oh, and exploding. Right. I think this... Somebody call his next of kin. I don't think Peter Payne is going home this evening. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's three, two, one. So this is three one one, and this is three one two. Um, I have a little note here. I just want to make sure that we both have the same thing. Seems like she's looking to do serious ligament damage instead of some ligament damage. These are old notes. Yeah. Little edits. Um. So panel three, she says, dropped his arms. And then underneath that, now I could punch his head. These, uh, these, these boxes fit the shape. And the announcer says, 
And you notice how these ands are bold. What was that? What was that next? I'm sorry. What was that next little? Uh, was drop it's his right arms. My... Dropped his arms. Yeah, and then I can't now see I it. Can... It's all blurred oh. on the. Uh... Oh, sorry. Okay, now I can. No, no punch worry his about head. it. Just tell me. It's a the first now little box says his dropped his arms, and then the next box says now I can punch his head. And I just moved okay. my camera way down. No, you don't have it's the I have the blurry riverside um uh low data preview. mode. So Yeah, but you but you have just, copies of all these pages, right? That way. But you have copies of these But pages, I don't right? have them with me. I'm not Oh, okay. I don't okay. I don't have them with me because we never I I'm depending on you to basically finalize a a, a set of these um blocks of text that'll be used based off of my or the the pages you penciled I ink and then if you end up sending me some to take care of some of the voices you take care of some of the voices then we'll we'll work that out this episode is just to get us to um uh finalizing six pages of of uh text right okay um so yeah we have the uh these ands are are bold because the announcer's like, and she's laying it on thick as pain sustains a wicked pilt to the jaw, dot, dot, dot. That goes here. Um, now, we're in, what, now we're into the bottom panel. Um, and it looks like uh, she's, she's whipping his head around like a rag doll. Now... Gents, and yes, it looks like as if she's drawn first blood with what appears to be a wide laceration to the face of Mr. Payne. I think it's a good device to um, to narrate these blows, you know, with such colorful language because otherwise people just look at it and they're like, eh, yeah, you know, she's punching a guy. But when yeah, when yeah. we do it like yeah, the Howard yeah, Cassell exactly. guy, it, it's like uh, really gets the impact of it. Um, now we're gonna well, it adds to the visual. Yeah, if the people bother to read. <laughs> um. So now we're on the next page. Page four. Yep. All right. So the first panel, she's tasting blood. So this is kind of like a theme. The taste of blood is the first little box. And then the next box is something else takes over something from long ago. What do you think about um, little uh, apostrophes after the somethings? Do we, you know, I know Wolverine like, needs to talk like that. Do we, like do we, do we, yep. yeah, do we just leave, do we just leave it as an N or do we put the apostrophes in? I like the apostrophes. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So, uh, so I guess we like have to Wolverine. squeeze those in. That might, that might be a squeeze if we, uh, if we don't have room allocated for them. Well, if you're taking the, G, we're taking the G out and replacing it with a, an apostrophe, right? Yeah, but I don't know if I allocated space for that, and that might kick things over and make it crowded. So, I mean, I when I did this originally, I just left it out, so that's why I'm bringing it up. Um. So it says, yeah, the the taste of blood, everything gets red, and no, er, um, the taste of blood, something else takes over for long ago, and then everything gets red and warm. So this is four, one, one, four, one, two, and. Uh, three and four, one, two. So 
So four is everything gets red, and then five is end warm. Um, panel two, page five. Panel two, we didn't, uh, no, I didn't do panel two yet. Uh, this is page four, right? Whoa. Yeah, page four. So everything one, you just two, went over goes into... One, two, three. Yeah, this is page four. So there's a picture of Turbo's face with a little splatter of blood on her mouth. In panel yeah. one. I'm, I'm there. Okay. So the top yep. box says the taste of blood. The middle box says okay. something else takes over something from long ago. And the okay. third box says everything gets red and warm. Okay. Okay. So then we're going to page four, panel two. Box one says mom was a nurse. And then... Under that, it says, didn't have a violent bone in her body. So that's 422. Two. I was doing letters, I guess, at some point. 4E, edit A, B, C, E. Um, so now we're in panel three. So this is 4, 3, 1. She died with a 10-inch butcher knife in her hands. From the picture, it looks a little more than 10 inches. <laughs> um, and then uh, here I have this uh, drawn in in pencil. So I guess this was after the printout of the cork file, but her last words, dot, dot, dot. And then in that little word, uh, her last words, dot, dot, dot. So that's four, three, two, and then... 433 three is the round word balloon where she says bastards with an exclamation all bold with an exclamation point bam and, and then hawonk hurunk right hurunk. now pow now snap um crunch <laughs> okay so now i'm wondering if if something got confused because this might be where it says and he's just lumbering around now. Ah. Actually. So that's the announcer it. speak. Uh-huh. Let's look at all these pages and see. Well, he wasn't really lumbering around net or, or or is this something different? I really got to try to find the file, but in order to do that, I got to find a little case I have of DVDs, backups, and then load it onto an old yeah. white laptop I have to to uh, open Quark. So, I was ready to say, man, I don't even have a copy of Quark anymore. Yeah. Oh, God, what a great program that was. It was. I made hundreds of thousands of dollars off of that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, me too. I I made a living for a long time. Um, so yeah, yeah. I'm surprised that there's no, there's nothing in this middle panel here, panel four. And I'm not because that's the explanation from her saying bastards. And then you drop, then he, she drops him. Well, she puts that first hook, that left hook into him and then takes him completely down on the right hook. And then that announcer box to the left is the final credits in, uh, no, here. Yeah. I found Payne's this. Life. Right. I oh, found okay. this here. See, yeah. So, so here on this page, these, this, this corresponds to this, uh, panel, but it, um, she, she's going to say, uh, in one little balloon here, there, and then heard the neck go. You see, she's punching in his neck, punching him in oh, the Oh, this is, uh, a, this is in page, this is in panel four. 
Yeah, and there's no box for it. So this is four, one, no, four, four, one, and four, four, two. Because otherwise, where so it's else? There, is... it's there, and then uh, head. Was it head? Heard the neck go. Oh, heard the neck go. Yeah, I don't know if you can see it now, but I made my picture much closer. It's probably still just pixels, but yeah. But the the Riverside gives me this uh, low data mode that basically it's so pixelated. I mean, I can see it now when you don't move. Yeah, <laughs> but. It's tough. Got it. Because it looks like weave the heck, heck so. <laughs> huh. um, right. And so, um, yeah, it's a good thing. I thought, oh, yeah. So it's here, too. Because I have multiple pages of this, but some of this has. Oh, so look, this is later. Look, you see what I have here? Um. This was handwritten, and then here it is on the uh, on the quark output, and I made it a different size. <clears throat> so um, these are different things happening. So um, I'm looking for this shape of a box, and so I think it's not that. I think this is where it's um, he's lumbering around. And then that other box must have been something else, which I got to find in this confusing mayhem. Can I ask a question? Yeah. About your process? 20 years ago? Yeah. Do you, do you, would there be blocks of text, like two blocks of text that you would then want to see which would work better and so you kind of added an additional block of text to then see how the flow would be on the final page or is this everything no i think i just you know, i did it in in sessions and i you know um you know i updated the quark file and you know printed it out hopefully that's why i was trying to find it in my archives because what if I did even more and I never printed it out? I got to try and find that and see, you know. Um, but right now I'm just trying to find the, uh, the at the bottom of the page where she's where she's punching the crap out of him. I'm trying to find what matches this that shape, and right around there, so it looks <laughs> like that. It looks like that's he's lumbering around now. You know, that this is the end of the bout. I don't think he's coming home this evening. I think that's there. And then if we go back a page, what looked like that shape. That makes sense. Here. That makes yeah, that right this, there. That 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 makes complete sense for being on page four last block from the announcer. Going home this evening. Peter Payne is going. Yeah, and so. Oh, coming home. Let's see. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Right. Because where did we where did we say that belonged before? We didn't, right? She got him in a leg. Oh, so this, so this under here, it's um. It's probably this right here. Yes, boys, this member of the so-called weaker sex. See how it's wider? So, <clears throat> so this is going to be page three, panel two, one, three, two, one. Ah, okay, okay, yep, okay. And this will be page four, panel one, two, three, five, one. All right. <clears throat> so 
So I think we got it all sorted. Um, right, so this is not three, two, one here. This is three, two, one. It's wider. And this is three, five, one. All right, next page. Oh wait, did I say three? No, this is four. Yeah, four, five, one. Right. So we finished four, five, one, and you and uh, and you have that. There's two little boxes going in. They are her the neck go right. Yeah. Because yeah. I think that that accounts for everything. There's nothing left over. Some of these are yeah okay. Um. Where is favoring one leg now? Sometimes I wonder if he's gonna die. See, that's like that's <sighs> so that's why I get I don't... like uh, the question of whether you're putting possibilities down. And then yeah, you AB, right. make a decision once you get to final, you know, like it yeah. just because you have that, that pacing and, you know, the, the boxes themselves in design, when people just look at the pages like myself is beautiful. You know, it, there's a, there's something, a balancing in, in, in composition. Now it becomes what's being said in there. Cause one of the things too, I just want to um, uh, like give you a little boost when it comes to um, why I enjoy working with you and I, I enjoy your work, Jake, is that you put more emphasis on the drawing, but anytime you have text in the boxes, they amplify the drawing, the panel. And I know you have said yeah. in the past that that was a lot that you had taken from Denny O'Neill. So yeah. that's why I also bring in the question whether that you just had an afterthought and you're like, oh, well, if she said this too, that could work. And then I'll just find if they, which one works better no, when I, I just, get into the final mode. I just figured it out. Um, you see, uh, you see oh, a little right. sound effect? You see a little sound effect where it says kick, snap, smap? She's saying yeah. smap and then yeah. kick. Um, so that's where the that's where the neck goes. So favoring one leg now will go above that. So favor so this so we got this wrong and we're because there's no boxes for it. It's a little. It's not like it. You know, we're not handing the uh, information over like we were with the other ones when when the boxes are drawn. Um, so it's a little harder, but. Um, that middle panel where it says runk, that has plenty of room on the left for favoring one leg now. And then sometimes I wonder if he knows he's going to die yet. Right here. And so, uh, so we have to change where we said heard the neck go. It's not there. It's down, but that's that's down below where there's much much smaller spaces. <clears throat> so I'm glad we're doing this because we'll never have to do this again. <laughs> um, <laughs> for these six pages, <laughs> right? I know, I know. I you got know. 22 so, other page. You got 22 other pages to go. <laughs> well yeah but uh you know it's just like just making sense of you know all the work that was already done so all right so yeah this where where did i where did we see there goes the net of the neck heard the neck go i don't see that anymore I just lost where I had it.
Yeah, I think this is I think this is all of it for the whole comic. All laid out. I think. Oh here, here here it is. Um so where it says there heard the neck go, that's going to be one, two, three. So this is page four, All right? So it's one, two, four, this is three, this is four. So four, 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 four will be here. Four, four, one, favoring one leg now. And four, four, two, Sometimes I know if he's going to die yet, and it's going to be that same stair step kind of formation. The uh, favoring one leg now will be all the way up in the upper left corner. It could even butt out of the panel. And then favoring, and then sometimes I wonder if he knows he's going to die yet. We'll be under that more vertical and it kind of leads the eye into turbo what she's doing and it might overlap her arm a little bit might or might not overlap her arm a little bit depending on how, how that blows down to what about her thigh no i wouldn't put that that low we're talking about right here right so it'll be it'll be uh favoring one leg now like this and then oh okay Sometimes I wonder if he knows he's gonna die yet, like that, right? Or this, yeah. Okay. Because there's nothing going on here. Okay. Right, because there's no room for word. There's no room for all these things here, but he, and here either. But that's why we have these little words. So here, there, her, the neck go, will be four, five, one. All right, so it'll be like maybe like right here, there, and then heard the neck go will probably be like right here, right? Make sense? Because then we keep it away from the uh, yep. from the announcer panel, and the announcer panel will be down here, and that's where it says he's lumbering around at this point. Okay. So this is four, five, three. Four, right, four, four, one, four, four, two, one. And then, yeah, four, five, one, and four, five, two, and then four, five, three. So that's that page. On the page five. Be lumbering Woo around. Woo. <clears throat> See when so I uh, when three I... blocks for the announcer. Up here, yeah. No, it's two. This. On its very no, top. And then it goes over to panel three. I mean, panel oh, two. Yeah. yeah, so let's find. So that's just shapes. one, two, three. And then I don't know what. And then you have this panel in four, but I'm assuming that that'll become something. Or maybe the. Yeah, maybe so the. It, does the. So do the. Does it keep continuing? The announcer I, speaking while she's now victoriously drinking down some. Uh, some Bud oh, Lights. Yeah, he's, yeah, that's when he's announcing the next bout. Right, um, right, so right, he, right. So he, up here at the top, this uh, this wide panel, it's all academic now, as Tough Miss Turvo. Notice we have the V there, Turvo. Um, I guess we'd make yeah. that, the, I guess we make that B. 
Uh, that was an earlier thing. You know, nobody will really know her real name is Turvio, Turvio. But um, let's we'll we'll make that a B. Turbo. So this is five, one, one. Just closes out the bout in just about five and a half. Um, I why doesn't this say minutes? I'm gonna write minutes. It was to the here. to the right. Five and a half. Minutes. Oh no, it doesn't and, say into the because then you go. What about this? Isn't the next block of text this one to the right there? Yeah, so then that's five, one, two. No surprises here for the locals, but you out of towners may have lost a few creds betting on the late Mr. Payne. Heh <laughs> heh. In any case, please step to the booth straight back by the yellow light to resolve all wagers. And then in this next box, um, it looks like it's and hey, stick it's around. Left there. It's hey, stick around. We got our main event match coming up just a few moments. So this kind of looks a more square than this. So I'm not sure where this comes in. No. I guess. Yeah, Is I guess that's four? right after it, but it's not very wide. Right. Or tall. Yeah. So, so um. It's too tall. Well, it's. It, yeah. I don't see anything else. Let, let me see if there's anything on a different page. I mean, it makes sense story-wise, but... See, it was wider here. Look, see, on my, on my uh, rough notes? Yeah. But then I put it in this box... I guess that was a mistake. You know, it looks like it's got to be skinnied up. I would agree. All right, so I'm going to write fix box. <laughs> and it's going to be wider a little bit and shorter. But in any case, this will be five. Wait, what did I just do? I wrote, no surprises here for the locals. This is not 512, it's 521. Oh, no, wait, that's 5, yeah, 511, 512. And then down here, stick around. So this is 521. And then, yes, it's the unbridled might of the samurai chieftain and the scrappy toros are in a fight that they're coming right up. That is five, three, one. All right. Now, Turbo is saying, hey, Dirk, give me another one of these fuckers, will you? Ah. Um, I, I kind of, um, I drew these little circles around it. I guess when I was doing my tracing. So this is five, three, two. And then it's uh say big mama, how'd you get to be so dang tough? This is the guy down at the bottom. And then that short little yeah. one, I don't know why, but it says excuse me. I don't know why that to, says uh, that. Dirk. It doesn't seem like. To What's Dirk. that? <laughs> well, to Dirk, Dirk is the bartender. Yeah, I know, but is he saying excuse me because he needs a drink? It doesn't make sense. We should change it to whatever it is. It says something like damn straight or. No, no, this is before. Yeah, she says, hey. Yeah. Dirk, give me another one of these, will you? And then he, he'll he have to say something. And then she says, say, Big Mama, how'd you get to be so dang tough? This is also weird because he doesn't look like he's looking at her. Yeah. You know? So may, maybe we need to revise these a little to make them make better sense. Um, 
this long tall box is uh that's right in addition to the purse it's more now, of, sir. yeah that's right in addition to the purse of 500 freshly pressed five yeah so this question mark w ohm radioactive coins um i think we'll change that to p's from coins to p's p's yep yeah and the five question mark w this should be whatever unit of radioactive potency we want to go with so we're going to need to invent that before we put this into um print but this is where they're going to say uh is proud to offer tonight's winner this sexy stunning trophy girl so this is oh wait why did i write sit page six Huh? When did I do that? 641. Oh, that's down here. Okay. It, this is page five. Not six. But I think that, I think this goes down here. Oh, and so it's up here. But first, please direct your attention to the left side. Okay. So this is this goes here. So uh, besides the uh, uncertainty we have of these word balloons, we also have uh, on the right definitely five three five. This is uh, the announcer saying, "But first, please direct your attention to the left side of the auditorium." These are very similar shapes of boxes, so. I got confused, but after that, we're we're going we're going to announce the trophy girl right next to where she appears in the background. So this will be five, four, one. Right above Turbo's head, right? If that's right. In addition to the purse of 500 freshly pressed. Um, so should we look up uh, what the measurements of radioactivity are? Units Maybe of... Maybe that later. Let's just, get, let's just get through these pages. <laughs> I think they're called jewels. Because <laughs> we're, already, we're yeah. already an hour in. Oh, boy. Okay. Well, we're close to the end. So... Then uh, yeah, this guy yeah, says, Miss Turbo, can I speak with you for a moment? Um, she says, back off, pal. I ain't for hire. So that makes sense. Right? So these yeah. two word balloons are 542 and 543. And then um, she spins around and sees the trophy girl. And her word balloon there is going to say uh holy ned will you look at that uh what a little hunt. so here i have some rough notes i think it was holy ned will you look at that but i crossed it out and let's see if there's a leader print out yeah holy ned what a little honey That's what, so this is going to be five, five, one. Holy Ned, what a little honey. Yeah, then it's five, five, one. And then that box says, ain't she something, gents? That's five. Five two, and then kind of gives you the tingles, don't it, boys? Is five five three. So page is done, and 
here she's uh sucking on sucking on her beer and she says whoa right dot 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 so that's uh six one one and then the announcer says uh here And we are underway here. This is whoa, six one one. Um, so this is six two. I don't know, this big panel is panel two, I guess. The inset is one. Six two one. Yeah. This is uh and we and we are underway here as the chieftain scored a mashing blow to the face of Toro's R. The Chieftain is heavily favored here tonight and wastes no time jumping right out and sending a message to Torozar. 6-3. Uh, she goes rap-tap and she says, Say there, little honey. So this is 6-3-1. Trophies first words are what are you talking to me? W O T what are you talking to me? And that's six three two. You know, um I'll mention this instead of making word balloons just like a round perfectly round or oval, you notice how I was uh kind of sketching in these little indentations to make them more like cloud shapes. Yeah. Yeah. I think I did did that just to uh just to be different and to also save a little space so that the they wouldn't cover so much. Like I did I wanted them to be like hugging the letters more. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. So just so you know, we might uh, we might not just do like perfect circles. Well, we're, well, they, these are already drawn in, but going forward, we might not do perfect circles. We might do more yeah, like cloud chases. Yeah, I've seen that in uh, European stuff, and you know. Um, all right, powering through, she says six three three. Hell, if I'd known the prize was you, I'd have took on that rat's ass chieftain myself. And then in, so this, next it's a six, four, one. She'll say, I have a note here, skinny up. So I made a different, page where it's skinnied up I think if I have it skinnied up if I remember right if not then it has to be skinnied up because look at her word balloon it's skinnied up what are you talking to me No, I don't have it skinnied up. So we got to skinny it up. Um, see this uh, word balloon here? I'll make it straight. Yeah. Okay. So... She go, oh wait a minute. No, I have it I have it wrong here. Um where she says, What are you talking to me? That's her first word. So that's six three two. Six three six three one. What are you talking to me? And then she doesn't say hell if I'd known yet. She says, Sure I am, sweets. I just saw you here. And I can't believe how much of a damn shame it is to see you in this case like this. 
And then she says, hell, if I'd have known the prize was you, I'd have taken on the uh, the chieftain myself. So this is 632 and this is 633. And then in the next skinny panel, there's a little balloon where she's saying something where I can't find it. But it might have been O, but that doesn't seem like it fits. Yeah, I was thinking of that. So maybe we should just say really? No, not for her sp expression. Well, she's mocking her, right? So we do need to skinny this yeah. up. But that first, this first balloon right up here, it should, what number did you put in that? You put seven? Yeah, so seven should be. Yeah, really. It's, well, I don't think yeah really would fit. I think just really is. Oh, wait, maybe, yeah, that's two lines, right? No, I got, yeah, yeah. Just really? Because O would be uh -oh. the one at the bottom. <clears throat> whatever she says is follow up turbo says is follow up no that's when she, that that's and that's then, i think this muh i think she goes mer although it might have been o oh, originally but uh <laughs> but let's just let's make it really oh really either really or then oh, what really. does she say what does she say is a follow-up then she says, you compete with the chieftain? Nary, I think not. Besides the fact that I am positively repulsed by big, filthy dykes. Now, this might be a little non-2023. So we have to deal with this. <clears throat> yeah, I just watched a show uh, last night, a television show from 2020, uh, Bosch on Amazon and uh, yeah, they um, they were harassing the lieutenant and when she came out to her car, they had written in soap on the back of her car uh, Dyke Slut. So. Right. <laughs> they got away with it. <laughs> hmm. Right. Well, I mean, 20 years ago, this is what we put out there. So, so first of all, we have to say really will be page six, panel four, one. Then the, ne the next one will be you compete with achievement. Now, Nary, I think not. Forget Nary. That's stupid. I think not. Makes sense. Um, yeah. I think not, besides the fact that I am positively repulsed by big, filthy, hmm, what do we do? <laughs> we want it to be that meaning for the story, but there's no PC way to say it. She's saying she doesn't go that way. Yep. So, uh, well, well, let's just leave it that for now, I guess. My only thing and, is, uh, uh, yeah, but, uh, but, and we had also talked about this in a previous episode, way in the beginning, about our own language descriptors. So there's nothing staying that we can't design, you know, a word, if you will, uh, being appropriated uh, to describe you know, uh, Turbo's character as well as other characters and stuff. So, but yeah, I think we do definitely have to come back to it. Butch. Mm, the filthy Butch. Filthy. You big Butch. <laughs> repulsed by big, big. Butches. <laughs> <laughs> big filthy dagger. Lesbo. <laughs> I don't know. Well, let's just keep. Uh, we got to keep moving here. Right. Well, anyway, note. yeah. I mean, so this is the very inauspicious introduction <laughs> of these two, and the very first exchange. Maybe we do this, and maybe we go with the yeah. exploitation of it all, and go with the, um, you know, I, the, I, um, I'm pushing controversy. For that. You're what? 
You're pushing for that? I'm pushing for that. Uh-huh. All right. Well, we'll leave it for the second. Um, And then... Uh, then she says... Oh, yeah. So here, here I have a little a handwritten one where it says, hmm, but it might be, oh, um, so I guess we need to decide, should it be mer or should it be O? Oh? I think mer. I think I like, like M. I do too, yeah. M, M H period, right? O's a little right? too contemplative. <laughs> right, M H period. M H period? period? Mer. Well, what do you think? Yeah. Meh? Okay. Or it's not M U R? Mer. Um. Mer. M H. No, I don't know. M H. I think M H. Meh? Well, meh won't okay. fit, though, right? Would, would meh fit? M E H is meh. Isn't M E H meh? Yeah, would that fit? Uh, we'll find out right so that's six four three it's either uh, yeah i think i like mh um now she's walking down the hall and she goes hmm, hmm. she's a little bitch but she's just too fine to go to waste like that Um, I crossed that out. Let's just double check here. She's too fine to go to waste. Like that. That's what I had originally. So it's like, uh, hmm, she's a little bitch, but she's just too fine to go to waste like that. Now, I didn't, uh, I, these, these balloons here were not in the right shapes originally so i think i might have typed all this out and then done the art and fin finalized the art and the shape of the word balloons and then changed some of it but we gotta just you know figure this out um so i like the sentiment you know, I don't know about how how much cursing we should do here. What do you think? Just about cursing in I'm general. I'm all for the exploitation. Yeah. yeah. Does cursing that, to uh, me does... can only get vulgar when it's overused. So if every other word is just to be dirty, nasty, filthy mouth, then it's it's not doing anything. But when it's but it's being used appropriately to drag a story along and also help reiterate the sort of character, let's go. Well, let's I, do it. Yeah, I use it for impact, you know. Um Yeah. Oh wait, here we go. Look, I think I skinned it up. Look. Over here. Uh -oh. I did skin uh -oh. this up. That's why I, Oh God, look. This is why I crossed all this shit out. See why these these are X'd out? So we have this. Yeah. All right. So let's go back. Okay. Um, Hell, so this is 641. So this all fits now. See, I'm sure this quark document is out there somewhere. Sure I am, sweets. I just saw you here. And, well, I can't believe how much of a damn shame it is to see you in this case like this. Um, Hell, if I had known you, the prize was you, I'd have took on that rat's ass chief to myself so this is six i'm calling this six three but we know what i mean so this is three then she says oh you compete with the chief teen mary i think not okay forget the Mary. i think not besides the fact that i am positively repulsed by big filthy dice and repulsed is bold um okay and then she goes mer and then here this is right so this is why i cross all this out note to myself 
She's a little snot, but she's just too fine to go to waste like that. That's better language. Six five one. Yeah, I like that. Six five two. Six five two. If I talk to Whoppy, maybe I can make a deal for her against my prize money. Dot dot dot. And that's when she goes in to the back room to find the proprietor and she'll notice that he's been slaughtered with all of his guys. And that's when shit starts to hit the fan. So what's the last uh, word balloon at the bottom corner? Right here. It's six, five, two. If I talk to Whoppy, maybe I can make a deal for her against my prize money. But if there's three now, what do you think about the name? Is that the third one? Oh, she's a little snot, but she's too fine to go to waste like that. If I oh, there's three. Um. Oh yeah, right here on the side. If she don't realize what's going to happen to her once she gets dragged off by one of those toothless wonders. There you go. Um. And so that closes us out. But what do you think about the name Wampy Woo! for the proprietor? I'm fine. How do you spell it? Two P's? W H O P P Y. <laughs> it's called W H O P P Y. I like it. Yeah. Okay. All right. So that's it. We never really ever get to meet Wampy because he gets killed. He gets killed, but you know, everything circles back in flashback, too. So, you know, it's so not everything, but, but so I could. have a request. Yeah, my request is just like you do for your um flyers, your Von Gul flyers. Yeah. Can you do something uh. for the back page, whether you pencil it? And I ink it would be the best appropriate. But if you can put all this, you know, drawn and written and curtain inker and well, uh, you're talking about a one up. and uh, the no, about, there's oh. it's all text. It's all text. This is all text. All yeah, text. but don't we want to put some info on there? Like we don't have our names. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. we got to talk about so the, here. Like we this talk one about here. What's like the this exact one. copy going to be? Yep. Yep. See, yeah, I have, talk about I this have for, this is a, a, this is another, this is another uh, teaser I'm, I've done. And uh, uh -huh. this is for my comic, uh, my Kurt Inker teaser number two. And then this was just a big explanation. Now I'm going to hand write all this other than I end up giving myself some space to do a signature. So that would be optimal yeah. Um, to have signature blocks. I mean, if I'm yep. printing them and I'm signing them, then there'll be an empty block for you. And then some fan can, can uh, chase you down. <laughs> I um, like it. What, but, well, or I just, yeah, uh, so how about if I take an early concept drawing and then turn that into a poster with the text and then we leave uh, the block, you know, we leave, leave the block at the bottom. And we have, um, you know, I guess they're indicia and the little explanation that you put there. Yeah, that's fine. I mean, I'll I'll just do the, uh, yeah, the mean, artwork part of yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's more. It's all text. So I mean, you got logo, you got teaser, um, you got Jake and Kurt. Um, then you got podcast, YouTube. Um, you know, www dot blah 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 blah. Um, oh, don't you, don't you want a little? Don't you want a little? Uh, don't you want a little blurb there that says it all? It all started with an idea, like. I yeah, or, I mean, I think it, it, the embellishment, I I I would leave to you, but I think the bigger part of it is just you know leaving space to to have signatures. You no, know, definitely, but, uh, but and then, a lot of um, there for information. you know, right. And then getting a copies is kurtbrugel.com. 
Oh yeah, I also put uh, was it hand drawn and home printed, and then I date it and then sign it. And so those are just like that's just like the big. Why did Why did you put? Hand yeah, it is. Drawn? We didn't use we didn't use uh. We didn't use a computer. Mm, I think it's confusing because that sounds like it's an it's it's an original. And hand drawn and home printed are. Yeah. You know, you could say home printed from from original art. I don't think hand drawn. I think that I would be confused if I read that. I, okay. You could say I, um, these are just my suggestions. So I I would say I would say forthcoming graphic novel um you know first first uh you know this is the first section of um issue one it's you know it's going to be a uh, a six issue graphic novel i would i would put the roadmap out because this is the whole idea is you know we're trying to we're trying to explain the project and uh you know get collaborators backers fans whatever you know Lay, lay it all on the line. Yep. Okay. Because you know that's all definite, right? We're making a we're making a graphic novel. We're you know that's all definite. So put put that there, and uh, you know the the little explanation, so that if somebody finds this a hundred years from now, they know what's what. Okay. But um, yeah, but we'll we'll just typeset that after the art's done. And, um, you know, I don't think I'll be able to do this by next week, but I, I could, uh, I could go back and, uh, well, well, let's go over it now. I, I don't know if you want to do this on the air or if you want to end it, but, um, let me go into the file. Yeah, we need that. to, we need to wrap it up. We need to wrap it up. Okay. So it looks like we'll, we'll do another episode next week. Well, we got a lot done for the lettering. That's for sure. But yeah. um, as far oh, yeah. as as far as oh, the, yeah. I think I have the early concept sketches here, and if we just like did a little thumbnail of that, let's see what we got here. Here, look right here. This is the very first. Let me raise my arm. This is it. This is where it first started. It all. Yeah, this we're gonna hold started. off. That's gonna go in the. That'll go in. That'll be bonus material that we put in the uh, the actual final graphic novel. Yeah, but I just wanted to allude to no art's like, necessary um, for the back. No, okay, just some lettering. Yeah, the classic logo, the classic logo, because then that'll be gone. You know, when we get to a certain point, definitely when we're printing the first collected floppy issue because we have five of these uh, teasers all done which means we have the entire uh, first issue done um, you know then we can get to an official logo and then kind of go from there that's what we've been talking okay, well, and thinking so well if you got this far in the uh, in the pod then here here is a bonus <laughs> here's some bonus content for you to see because I think I sh we showed this very early going but not since um, this was the very first uh, concept sketch. And what happened is I was working at a printing company and I got this really nice glossy paper and I had this great pen. I think it's a pilot pen where I love the way that it just sits on the paper. And so I was doing all these different e kind of exploitational ideas. Some were half in jest, some were just joking around. And then I made this thing called uh, Turbo Pit Fighter, let's say. <laughs> and um, this was it. And, you know, look, she had a sword. She, yeah. had a, I, she had a bunch of tats. You know, this was, in the, this was in the 90s. Uh, she had a bunch of tats. You know, she was very shapely, but she had strong arms. And this is, this is the very first sketch. And then it kind of got refined. I found this sketch later on. Where she has the uh, a spiked glove, and uh, you know she got a little more, I guess you know, 
I don't know. This was the second. So, but uh, that was the Genesis. So, just so people know. Nice. Yeah. All right. You want to take us out? All right. Well, let's and, close uh, this out. We'll let these people. We are good. Yeah. We have a community tab on our podcast on YouTube. Check it out. We've got polls. We got questions. We got discussions. We got uh, update posts that are being uh, uh, placed up there. Uh, so definitely. Um, you know, keep, keep your eye out on that. And, uh, other than that, thank you for staying this long. We consider you a turbo knot and, uh, and, uh, uh thank you. Um, be good. We'll see Bye. You, uh, next time. Yep.